Well then, Bunny, it is time once again for yet another fairly regular-ish installment of Bunny and Steve's social media shoutouts. This is a semi-somewhat fairly regular-ish piece where Bunny and I shine a well-deserved spotlight on a social media hero of ours, regardless of whether or not they listen to the show, but hopefully they do, because if they don't, they are freaking dead to me. Yes. Bunny, mm-hmm. I would like to go I would like to go first, if I may. Sure. Okay. Um my uh social media shout out this week goes to my friend Amanda. We are friends on the Facey pages. Uh, We used to work together uh, in at the bookstore in Arden, and uh, she's she was really great and funny and popular, and everybody liked her. And when we moved, she apparently really turned her life around, and now she's a mother and a devoted Jehovah's Witness. Uh huh. And uh, let me tell you, I've got a lot of religious friends, but uh, one thing that I like about Amanda is that she is a very devout Jehovah's witness. Yeah. But she doesn't let that get in the way of us being friends, you know? Yeah. Like, I have my belief, you have your belief. Regardless of those beliefs, you have adorable freaking kids, Steve. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Regardless of your religious beliefs, regardless of my religious beliefs, your pictures from Storytime are awesome. So, (laughs) like that. She's very devout, but one the reason why I wanted to put a spotlight on her is specifically I was sharing a lot of pictures of my kids this past week while my wife was gone at the Supernatural convention. Yeah, and a lot of those a lot of those pictures were of Eleanor, and she's just this she's beautiful and adorable, and I love her. I love Eleanor so much. And there's one specific video that I took of her and the sun was on her. I had the window open and the sunlight was just directly on her face and made her eyes so much bluer than they normally are. Yeah. And her skin, because the sun was directly on her, her skin just looked so much whiter and paler than it normally is. And I was sharing these pictures and these videos and, and Amanda just cut to, the meat of it and said hey do you ever get anyone telling you that they think eleanor isn't yours okay why because uh then she showed me pictures of her kids and she is her and her husband look very dark and ethnic and yet they have these two like blonde haired white kids yeah you know so so she said that she goes through that a lot herself so that's why she was asking about eleanor and i really appreciated that and i wrote back to her and i said i have had uh, no one has ever had the guts to tell me that to my face But I have had a number of people say that crap behind my back. Really? Yeah. About Eleanor or the other kids, too? Uh, About Eleanor, about uh, about Bella for a while. When Bella first came out, she was really sort of pale. They can't say Uh, that about Maxwell. No, Maxwell looks exactly (laughs) like me. He looks like you. So much like me. Yeah. But. But Eleanor, yeah, I've had people behind my back and amongst, you know, other people amongst their friends and stuff say like, oh, you know what? I don't think Eleanor is. I don't think that Eleanor is Steve's at all. Well, when I mean, just look at her skin and look at look at her eyes. And there's oh, there's no way. See, so I, it, I, had I, the opposite. It. I had the opposite I saw, because really? my boys were both dark, had dark hair 
darker skin, dark eyes. And here I was this like average white woman. And I would, and especially in the summer, they got really dark to the one point where uh, uh, a young relative called Spencer, that colored boy. Yes, they did. And um, yeah, so they, I always thought people probably think I'm babysitting. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. can't say they're not mine because I'm, they came out of my body. But um, yeah, I, was, I thought they probably all think I'm babysitting these two little brown boys. <laughs> Yeah, I, I always, when when Emerald was like two years old, three years old, four years old, thank God she loved me and was attached to me the way she was. Because I, I think back at times when it was just her and I at the mall or her and I shopping, her and I going to the store, yeah. like, like, oh, I'm surprised no one called the cops. Yeah. Um, of me, this like weird looking Mexican guy holding this little blonde haired, blue eyed Nazi poster child. It is different <laughs> for guys. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's totally yeah. different for me. Here I am looking sketchy holding a kid from, from like Nazi propaganda. <laughs> Education for death. Yes. Like, I'm, what are you doing get, with that child? Yeah. Getting shoes? So I like. <laughs> So I appreciated Amanda. I appreciated Amanda being like honest like that. Like, oh yeah, no. I, I, I in fact Natasha has said once or twice before that there have been times where she's worried when it's just been Eleanor and I. Yeah. Cuz yeah, no, she she definitely looks lighter. But again, thank God these kids are so literally attached to me because that just makes it easier to prove that I haven't kidnapped any of them. <laughs> it's just ridiculous that you would even have to. Yeah. Yeah. I love you too, Maxwell. So so I, I, I've just been thinking of that nonstop for like the last day or two or however long it's been. And so I just want to thank Amanda for that. So that's my social media shout out for this week. Bunny, do you have a Oh, thank you for the hug, Eleanor. I love you too. You're just jealous. Uh Bunny, do you have a social media shout out this week? Yes. I am going to go with my friend Steve Wash. Uh he is a great cinematographer. Um gets a lot of work. He's always working uh politically active he's he's a hometown boy so you know um i can see him from time to time you know or we show up at a similar event things like that um and that's it he's just a really good guy vietnam Yay. veteran <laughs> he was in the shit then huh he, he was he was in the shit Nice. Eleanor, I don't know what you want from this desk, but this isn't my desk. It's mommy's desk. So I don't think you get anything. Here. You better not take this ruler. Oh, my goodness. You took the ruler. Oh. Damn it. It didn't work. I thought it would work. <laughs> really thought I could trick her. I'm going to put this ruler here. You better not take it and play with it. <laughs> Eleanor. She doesn't want it. Damn it. So uh, now comes the part of the social media shout outs in, with, in which both uh, you and I literally shout out the name of the person that we're doing a shout out for. Yes. So, so on the count of three, let's shout out our social media shout outs for this week. On the count of three. One, two, three. Oh, my God. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I got applause nice. from the family. Uh, and definitely not because of the episode of Supernatural they're watching. Oh. Uh, yeah. So you wanted to say something? Uh, every time I pull my uh, pants to, the, to my tummy, yeah. everybody get funny. Oh, okay. But you need to get to bed. So, so go to bed. No. Okay. I need you to said you I, I I'm Did he just say no? 
Yeah, he just said no. Go brush your teeth. Brush your teeth. Okay, Bunny. Yes. 